What's up everyone? This is Bill. Today I got a video for you guys. It's going to be an installation video. I'm going to show you real quick what's all in the box and then uh, we are going to jump right into it and get this installed on the Can-Am Riker. So this is the grill guard from Sling Mods along with the optional LED light bar. So the grill guard is powder coated steel and very heavy duty mounts using four bolts underneath the front end of the bike it comes with all the hardware that you're going to need to install it uh, the grill guard by itself is 379 dollars and then you can add on this led light bar for 159 dollars bringing your total to 538 dollars so the led light bar does have high and low beam this is going to mount on the left side of the handlebars you got an on and off switch here for high and low and off this is gonna this is gonna wire in up to the battery, so it comes with your wiring harness, comes with your installation, all your bolts, your all your hardware, mounts right here in the front end of the bar. The bar comes with spacers and washers, bolts that are needed to mount that. Comes with the light bar or the uh, grill guard comes with its own instructions, the additional LED light comes with its own instructions. Okay, the tools you're gonna to need to do this job, a half inch wrench, and this is to do both of these, okay? So you're gonna need a half inch wrench, 9 16th, inch, 9 16th wrench, a 9 16th socket, a T25 Torx bit, a T30 Torx bit, a Phillips head, and a plastic trim removal tool. These plastic trim removal tools will come in real handy if you are constantly doing stuff to your Riker for removing those push pins. I'll leave a link to these in the description as well. You can get them on Amazon, less than 10 bucks. You get a whole set of them. Okay, so we're going to go to the bike and get this installed. So really straightforward design, straightforward install. You got four bolts underneath for this, two bolts in the front end for that. This wires to the positive and negative terminal on the battery. One bolt right there, up on the left hand of the handlebars. Okay, very simple install. So we're going to go get it done. I'm going to show you guys some close-ups. And I'm going to try to do as detailed as a job as I can. Um, showing you guys if I run into any problems or anything like that, anything complicated, I will let you guys know for sure. And I'll show you some close-ups of the bike when we get it all installed. Okay, so come with me. Let's go get it installed. Big shout out to Sling Mods. So go check them out, slingmods.com. There's a link in the description to go purchase both these items. You can purchase them as a set on Sling Mods. So big shout out to those guys for sending this out to me and giving me the opportunity to do an installation for all my fans here on YouTube. Okay, so check the link below. Let's go get this done. Okay, so here we are at the Riker. And our first step here is going to be to remove the two uh, T30 Torx bolts under the front end. Those hold the front fascia on. So that will be our first step right there. If you have push pins, your first step would be to remove those push pins and then insert the threaded pieces that are included in the kit. Okay, so these will come in your kit. You'll get two of them. That will slide onto the metal frame where the push pins pushed through before, and then you'll thread this into there instead. So they will actually be sitting like this, and you'll be threading that on there. That's if you have the push pins. Uh, some models use a T27 torque, some models use a T30, and some models have push pins. Okay, so these are if you're using push pins. This bike does not have the push pins, so we'll just be using the bolt straight into there through that plate on the uh, brush guard so I'll show you guys where those screws are located and uh, what it takes to get them out okay so if we come right here to the bike you can see I've loosened the two screws just so they stand out to you so this is the front fascia you look right underneath the front fascia okay you'll have two on this bike they are T30 two T30 screws so we are literally going to Take these out, and then the plate's going to sit up here for that front grill guard. And then we're going to bolt these two in loosely, and then we're going to work on the back. 
Okay, so let's get that unbolted and uh, show you what it looks like getting that plate up there. Okay, so I have the camera sitting under the left-hand side of the bike looking forward. So you guys can get an idea here. We're going to set our screws here. Okay, and those metal pieces, if you're using push pins, you'll pull this front fascia forward, and those metal pieces will go right up behind here. And if you don't have push pins, you already have those on the frame. Okay. <clears throat> Now this might be easier if you have a helping hand. Uh, we're going to try and do it. Okay, we're going to be using the longer stainless steel bolts. Double check the size. They are also a T30 Torx. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to hold it up. Get one side just started in there. Okay. I'm going to try to line this other side up and get it started. Okay, again, these are longer stainless steel bolts that came with the kit. So now we're just going to run these up by hand. We're not going to tighten them yet. Okay, now we're going to let that hang there. Okay, so you can see where I have my hand. I just set this up here so I can show you guys. This bolt goes through the plate. And you're going to have to get this spacer in there. You're going to see a big kind of rectangle, almost a triangle hole cut out right there. You can kind of see it in the video there. Okay, that's what you're going through. And then the washer sits on top, and then the nut, and you're gonna need a 9 16 socket and a 9 16 wrench to do this part right here. Okay, so the way it works, you take your spacer that comes in the kit, try to position it, so it's over this hole, so you can get this bolt in there. Okay. There we go. Okay. There it goes. Bolt is through up top. Now this big washer is going to sit on top of that. So. You're going to need to position yourself so you can get the washer on top. So you're going to position the bolt in there like that. You're going to need to get this washer to sit. There's a gap that it's got to sit in. And I'm going to show you what that looks like up close. So I got the washer on. The washer needs to sit down flat. If it's not sitting down flat, you don't have it on there right. And I'm going to show you. One second, let me get this nut threaded on here. Hopefully. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. All right, let me take you in for a close up look at how that looks. Okay, so you see where the washer's sitting. It kind of sits down. Let's see. It sits down like there's a another piece of metal behind this nut right here so that washer needs to sit down in that and then push that bolt through or else the washer is not going to try to sit flat okay so that's how it should look you can see there we got the plate the spacer the frame the washer the nut okay so now we're going to tighten it down we're going to do the same thing on the other side and then uh we're going to tighten down our t30 torx bit our torque screws up. We're going to tighten them down. You want to tighten them down evenly so this thing sits nice and squared up on the frame. 
Okay, so we'll get them all tightened down. Okay, so there you go. We got the the front grill guard on. Come out really nice, really simple install. Again, it's those four bolts that you put in. Um, if you've seen from the time lapse, I just kind of crisscross. I tighten one side down just a little bit, then crisscross the other side, the, tor the Torx bolt, tighten it down, just kind of crisscross, and then eyeball it and look at it because you can um, adjust it slightly left to right. So we got it pretty squared up, got it tightened down. Okay, just remember not to over tighten your bolts. So I'll take you up close and let you look how the uh, grill guard looks on there. And um, then I'll show you, we're gonna install that uh, LED, the optional LED light bar. Okay, right, there we go. Looking good, nice and clean look to it. Nice little brush guard on there. And I know you guys see, I mean, obviously I'm doing this video for sling mods and this is all about this grill. If you guys see anything on the spike that interests you or intrigues you, please feel free to ask. I'll answer any questions that I possibly can. Okay, so we got that nice clean brush guard on there. Looking really sharp. So now we got the LED kit. That's that LED light. That's got a high and low beam on it. We're going to install that next. Okay, and you could purchase this later on down the road as an add-on to this. It's going to use these brackets that's already on here. Okay, so there's no drilling and cutting. We're going to remove the hood. We're going to remove this left panel. And then the switch is going to get wired into this. It's got a bracket that bolts right there and it'll stick up right by your thumb on the left hand side. Okay, so let's start out. We're gonna get the hood off and we're gonna remove these plastic push pins. Okay, you got two here. You come back here to your battery door. Okay, you got two here. So remove those. And then this is on a little push tab right here. This will lift right off. It'll sound like you broke it, but you didn't. And that's so we can get the wiring down to the battery and back up. And we're gonna have the wiring come running right up here with the factory wire. You see how the factory wire sits down in here. Okay, we're gonna run it right along with this factory wire right up to the switch, nice and clean look. Okay, so we'll get started on that right now. First step, remove the hood. plastic tabs, one on each side right here in the front. I'm gonna lift up, slide down, pull straight off. So that we're gonna get scratched up. Okay, so there we are under the hood. Next we're going to use our plastic pry tool. We're gonna remove these four push pins. Okay, so you can pull the top all the way out and then that'll come right off. You don't have to remove this piece all the way out. It'll come off if you give it about halfway. Okay, so if you push it in. that aside. Okay, so there's that. And that is so we can feed that wire for the switch up there. Okay, so we have our wire harness that came in, in kit. So 
said, this is going to go right up here, right where this top bolt is. And that's a T25 Torx. And then you'll have on and off, high low. that switch with our speed. Okay, so by the time you get done, I realize now that camera angle wasn't doing you guys any justice. So by the time you get done, this is what you'll have. You see the bracket mounts to this top bolt here, which is a T25. And then you can angle it however you want. So you can see how mine sits with my hand on there. All right, I can easily turn it on high and low beam. And then our wire harness, we're going to run right back here and zip tie everything up so it looks factory this is going to come down and you have a gap right back there where you can get underneath it here okay and we're going to zip tie Let's follow that there's a uh, factory wire the factory uh, loom runs right here the wire harness so we're going to zip tie right to that and run down to the battery and then you have the battery right there Okay, so you have your battery right there, positive, negative. Okay, so that's how we're going to wire it in. All right. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to feed this guy down into here. And you'll feel the factory wire harness come down. So now we have access to this guy right here hanging down inside the bike here. Okay, and your blue or your plastic panel is gonna go right over the top of this. Okay, so now we got that fed down there. We're gonna mount the LED and feed this wire. Okay, so for this part we're gonna mount this the LED up here. So the first thing you can do when you're putting your light bar in is, remember this can be powder coated, and so you can thread these bolts onto there, or set them up there loosely, and then the wire is going to feed back and off to the left side. Remember we got to be able to squeeze these rubber washers in there as well, so it's definitely going to be a challenge. It's not going to be the easiest thing to do by yourself, for sure. Okay, now let's get this all the way threaded right here. So you know actually it's going in. Okay, so I'm going to get these bolts tightened down, and I'll show you what it looks like where we go from there. I'm in. I'm gonna feed 
this down through and plug it in. Okay, so the gray wire is what's going to plug into the gray wire for the light. It's a watertight plug. Make sure it's all the way tight. Okay, so we're going to use our Phillips head screwdriver. We're going to start with the uh, positive terminal. And this does have a 40 amp inline fuse as well. Make sure you map everything out, take your time. You want it to look good. So before you before you start putting all your panels back on and uh, zip tying all your wires down, come over and test your light and make sure it works so that you can see that's the low beam and the high beam. Okay, this will work without the key in the on position. So right now the bike's shut down completely. So that is something to keep in mind. You're not going to want to leave that on. Okay, but it does come on. Okay. So now we'll zip tie all the wires and uh, put the plastic panels back on. I'll show you where I, where I mounted all the wiring and whatnot. Okay, so let's take a look at that. Okay. So first of all, you have this rubber plug right here on the positive side. If you cut a slit in it, you can get it to still sit down over the top of that other wire. Okay, I've, I've ran those right underneath this lip here. Okay, we'll zip tie this red one up out of the way and tuck it down even further so you don't see it from the front end here. Okay, and then we ran our wire up and underneath the bike here. Let's see if we can get an angle on it. You can see right there is zip tied up okay and then we loosely put a zip tie here wires are zip tied here so this is around the radiator hose and a zip tie here up underneath this plastic around the frame the uh, relay box there is a ground wire right here to the chassis Okay, that relay box, that's a 10 millimeter bolt, and that relay box is going to fit perfect right there. It stuffs up far away from the header, so it should work just fine. We'll just keep an eye on it and make sure it doesn't melt or get too hot, but I think it'll be just fine. And then this other wire is zip-tied up above to the factory wire loom and follows it on up to the switch. Okay, like I said, you have the 30 amp fuse here. Okay, so just try to... Get everything as clean as possible. I mean, you look at it and you wouldn't even know that anything is there. You wouldn't know any different. Okay, so now we'll close the hood and I'll let you guys take a walk around the bike. Okay, so there you guys go. That wraps up my video for that grill guard with the LED light bar, the optional LED light bar from Sling Mods. Uh, again, there will be a link in the description so you can go purchase both items. Okay, and this is my 2019 Can-Am Riker. This is just the uh, 900 Ace. Let you guys get a little look at him. Yeah, that powder-coated black on there looks really nice. That light LED light bar with it being adjustable up and down. Super bright when the high beam's on. Nice clean look to it. Okay. Really digging that thing. It's not noticeable from the front or from when you're sitting on the bike either. So anyway, there you guys go. That's my video. You guys can follow me. All my information is in the description below the video. Uh, go follow Sling Mods on Instagram. Check them out. And uh, go check out their website, slingmods.com. Big shout out to those guys for sending this out to me. It's greatly appreciated. And as always, you guys have a good day. Peace.